Hi guys, it's me JB. Well, what a summer this is going to be for Burnley Football Club. A fantastic summer so far. I mean, look at the players we've brought in. It's just, a, it's just unbelievable. We've brought in some really good players as well. And, you know, we've, we're, we're, I think we're looking to spend more money. I said one year that Alan Pace was more like Halen Pace. It's gone the opposite way. Alan Pace is... He's just been brilliant. Uh, we've, this has probably been the most excited I've been as a Burnley fan for 13 seasons. Um, probably since 2009-10 because, you know, the novelty of reaching the Premier League the first time under Owen Coyle. And, it's, you know, this is this is exciting times for us. And it's, it's just unbelievable. We're playing some of the best football I've seen for a very long time under Vincent Company. And now we're seeing players coming in for big money. You know, uh, I mean, we've spent... These are just some of the players that we've managed to bring in so far. This is just unbelievable. Dara O'Shea from West Brom, 7 million. Jordan Bayer, 13 million. But he'd already, you know, he was on loan to us. So we agreed to pay that last season. Marco Obafemi, we, we'd already got... He was coming for 3.5. Uh, we've got Zeki Amodi from Baal, who's... who's up and coming Swiss international scores lots of goals, scored lots of goals for the Swiss team, Swiss young uh, under 21s, 16 and 16.1 million. James Trafford, who performed heroically in the under 21 tournament, which England won, six, 15 million pounds for Manchester City. Nathan Redmond, we saw against Benfica, what a player he can be uh, against uh, for us there. He's now come on a free transfer. This is, I, I never thought I'd be seeing this. In my lifetime as a Burnley fan. This is like... And now we've reached an agreement with Ajax to sign Mohamed Drami on loan with an obligation to buy up 15 million. And we might get in... We might get in uh, Aaron Ramsey apparently from uh, Aston Villa. This is just uh, turning into brilliant... This is turning into a brilliant summer for us. And I don't know where it's come from. I don't know what... I think mean, Vincent Company signing that new contract as well started the summer off for me in the ter most terrific start, terrific style. Uh, and now, look at us now. We're going... Well, and look at, I mean, we've loaned in Jacob Brum Larson as well from Hoffenheim. What a player he could well be for us, you know. So, we're looking really, really good. I mean, look at our results in pre-season. Yes, we lost again 2-0, but that was Britain's reasons. But then we went out to Benfica, win 2-0. Go to Betis and draw one one. You know these these are decent European sides from Portugal and Spain. Today later on today we play. Um, later on I think we play Mainz. I think Jurgen Klopp's old team. So in a in a final one, but then we play Manchester City on the Friday. Are we uh, on Friday night? This is this is surreal. Um, you know, now a lot of people will see my TikToks. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my, t you know, I'm on TikTok very much so, and I predicted Burnley in the Premier League predictions. I'm going to put that same video up on YouTube for people to look at. But I predicted, and I'm going to do a spoiler here. I'm not going to tell you who wins the league and everything. You can find that out in the video, the actual video. But um, I've gone for Burnley to finish 11th for this reason because I just feel that we've been really ambitious and I found, read somewhere the other day that we've actually spent more money on transfers than Barcelona now if you'd have said that to me years and you said that to me two maybe three years ago I would have absolutely left my sides off this has just been the most exciting summer that I can remember since 2009 when we first got into the Premier League after 33 years away this is like it's halcyon days for Burnley Football Club. You know, I think we can do really well. I think we'll surprise a few people. I think we'll shock a few people. And I think we'll impress a lot of friends. I think we'll make a lot of friends by playing some terrific football. And hopefully winning, winning football. Uh, which is going to have to, you know, I mean, 40 points will be the target. I'd love a cup run. I'd love a cup run, probably in the FA Cup rather than the League Cup because you can get to Wembley in a semi-final. So there's that incentive. I think there's more of an incentive for Wembley in that competition than there is the League Cup because you've got to go through two-legged two -legged semi-final and neutral ground. So I'd, I think I th that would be, if we could have a great cup run, get to a semi-final in one of the Cups and an 11th place finish, oh, I'd take that every day of the week. I'd take it any day of the week. So... 
I'm very excited. Alan Pace has put his money where his mouth is. Vincent Company has been backed. I can't complain with the summer. It has been, uh, you know, every day for the last two or three weeks, it's been an excitement. And in the announcement, the signing announcements as well, they've been different right, from the media side of things at Burnley. So this is great. And then we've got the documentary coming out as well, um, charting last season behind the scenes. And this is going to be good fun as well because my voice has been picked to go in. I'm going to announce now that my voice has been picked to go in it. So some of the videos that you may have seen um, last year, um, are going to be um, are going to be used only sound only though. But this is exciting times for Burnley Football Club. I can't wait for this season to begin. I can't wait for August the eleventh. This is going to be something really, really special happening. And whatever happens on that first night against Manchester City, um, it's still going to be special. It's still going to be good. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun. And we will, I repeat, will surprise a few people. So that's my that's my take on the summer. It's been exciting. I'm looking forward to the new season now. This is the first time I've really enjoyed a summer supporting Burnley for a long time. This has really been uh, a real, you know, I've really enjoyed the, the last two or three weeks. It's been a great ride. Maybe more incomings. That would be great, brilliant before the window closes. If we can get more incomings, uh, so much the better. But... Um, yeah, I'm very satisfied with the with the uh, with the the signings that we brought in. Thank you very much. Leave a like, and uh, I'll take care, and I'll see you very soon. Ta-ra!